Ladies and gentlemen, you know, back in November, Kyle Rittenhouse put a book out called Acquitted. Well, he was recently online and suggested that people buy his book as a Christmas gift. And do I have to tell you he got dragged? <laughs> Nobody said, oh, I can't wait to get that book and put it under my Christmas tree. I didn't see that from anybody, but he got plenty of backlash. You can best believe it. But before we get to that part, I want to go on to Amazon and see where his book is now ranking. Okay, y'all, let's see where Kyle Rittenhouse book is ranking because we know it was hardly nobody buying this thing at all. So the ranking is now 45,793 in the Kindle store. That is terrible. That is terrible. I think the last time it was like 95,000. So it is 3,646 in nonfiction. So you can see it right here, which is a very low ranking book. So all of the people that claim they support him, they're sure not buying books. Either that or they're just not readers at all. I mean, that could be the case, you know. So, and I did look at some of the comments. It's, it's a mixed bag of comments. Some people are very critical and some are, I guess, being very overly nice, you know, and... And then I read some comments how people are saying it's almost like he's turning himself into the victim. Well, that's what many people do. Especially in his case. So now let's get to the intended story that I was about to tell you on what happened recently online. Okay, now Kyle Rittenhouse was recently online and he left a message on social media. So Kyle Rittenhouse social media posts in which he recommended his new book, Acquitted, as a Christmas gift, has been met with a wave of derision online. Rittenhouse 20 gained notoriety in August of 2020 when, at the age of 17, he shot and killed two men, Joseph Rosenbaum, 36, and Anthony Huber, 29, I'm sorry, 26. And this was at a Kenosha, Wisconsin protest that was going on. So Rittenhouse, who was using a semi-automatic AR-15 style assault rifle, also injured 26-year-old Gage Grosscruz. So he said the three shootings were all in self-defense. And this was a Black Lives Matter protest where the shooting took place and was held in wake of Jacob Blake, a black man that was left paralyzed from the waist down after being shot by a white police officer. So following his trial, Kyle was acquitted in November of 2021 on charges of first degree intentional homicide, attempted first degree intentional homicide, first degree reckless homicide, and two charges of first degree reckless endangering safety. Rittenhouse later said he supported the BLM movement. Sure didn't look like it, did it? 
I'm just talking about his actions when he got there, explaining that he was at the demonstration to protect businesses and medical assistance. Well, it's funny because the business owners, they interviewed some of them and they said they never were asking for protection from people like Kyle Rittenhouse. They said they were never asking for protection. And, and generally, these guys that show up with these assault rifles, they just want a particular demographic to see them with those weapons. It's not about protecting anything. It's a whole different motive. So Rittenhouse has now, um, he documented the circumstances surrounding the shooting in his recently released book, okay? And the story is described as survival, resilience, and justice. And he goes on to say he never wanted to be a public figure. I was homeless as a small child and raised in government subsidized housing. So he, you know, like I said before in my other video, he's a welfare kid. He was raised on welfare. My goal was to be a cop or a paramedic a blurb for the book on Amazon Reads. I went to Kenosha to help my community not become a whipping boy in the national debate. In less than three minutes, the direction of my life was horribly altered when I was forced to defend myself with deadly force. So much was said and written about me that was not true. Now, for the first time, I want to tell my story. The blurb went on. My name is Kyle Rittenhouse, and I was attacked. I defended myself. I was prosecuted. I was acquitted. Amid disappointing sales, yeah, very disappointing, because he's not ranking anywhere near the top with this thing. Rittenhouse promoted his new book on X, formerly known as Twitter as a gift idea ahead of the Christmas holiday. Still looking for Christmas gifts? Well, look no further. You can order my book, Acquitted, now at RittenhouseBook.com. Rittenhouse wrote. So here's what he actually posted out on X. And you can see it's dated December 19th, 2023 at 3.22 p.m. On Rittenhouse website, the book is being offered for $22.99, while signed copies will set customers back $59.99. Why? He's not that big of a celebrity, okay? <laughs> $60 because he signed it? I don't think so. I'm sorry. I wouldn't buy it for that amount. I wouldn't even buy it for the $22.99. Let's move on. Rittenhouse promotion of his book sparked a negative reaction from a number of ex-users, one of whom wrote that they were boycotting a murder book. It's blood money. Grifter still peddling this garbage, one distractor commented, while another said toilet paper substitute if anyone needs. Yes, I need more paper to start my fireplace, another one quipped. Another one said that $60 for a soft cover to start a fire with is rather expensive, scoffing at the idea of presenting the book as a gift. Another responded, why would I order your book as a Christmas present? I like my family and friends. 
Amid the criticism, other ex-users express their intention to purchase the book. So I, I didn't get it quite yet, but I will get around to it. Yeah. Mm hmm. So the price for a signed copy is surprisingly low, one supporter said. Might have to get one myself after Christmas is over. So, you know, so it was a mixed reaction, but he got more negative comments than positive comments out there. And wow. I guess a lot of people don't even want to get his book for, uh, you know, as a Christmas present either. Mm -mm -mm. So y'all, tell me what you think about people slamming Kyle Rittenhouse for even suggesting giving his book acquitted as a gift. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.